So our next topic is our final topic, but our biggest topic and what you might just be here for. So we have The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom releasing in May. Now, we have had speculation that we might get a special Nintendo Switch OLED to go with the game. And recently there was a leak with pictures of said OLED showing that it might be a real thing. So I apologize to our listeners on Spotify and Apple because on YouTube, I'm showing pictures of the OLED right now. If you wanna see it, I encourage you to go to YouTube and check out the podcast because you can see everything for yourself. This thing looks majestic. The dock is beautiful. It has a little bit of a glare on it in these pictures, but it looks really good. The Joy-Cons are awesome. Maybe a little bit much on the left Joy-Con, but I mean, either way, it looks pretty good. And I would call this another success at a special edition Switch from Nintendo. I would call that a success. It looks really good. People are for sure gonna buy that if they see it in stores. And once again, this is a rumor and a leak. It looks very, very legit. It looks really real to me. If it's fake, I'll be shocked, but it's not confirmed nor is it officially announced. But here's my thinking, okay? Here's what I think. If this is actually what it looks like, and this is real, dude, if you're Nintendo, you announce this right now. You don't let this just sit out into the wild. No pun intended. <laughs> you don't let this sit out on the internet and have everyone see before you announce it. You cannot do that. Like you have to announce it now or as soon as possible because when it actually gets announced, everyone's like, okay, we already saw it. Now that's the case if it's real. If it's not real, Nintendo's probably just, just laughing in their office like, ha, they believe that's the Switch? They believe that's what it looks like? Ha <laughs> ha. Like, that's what they're probably doing right now, if that's not real. But if it's real, you go into the studio, put the Switch on the table, take all kinds of cinematic videos, do all this stuff, get the trailer ready, and you announce it right now. Because imagine this, think about the day that you found out this exists. It might be right now. Could you imagine Nintendo announced it right after it got leaked? That would be like a hype thing, like, oh my gosh, that's what it might look like, to, oh my gosh, it's confirmed, that is the Switch. You kind of create a double hype effect. And I don't know why they wouldn't announce it. Like, you see, like, sports news. I watch a lot of UFC, which is like martial arts fights. If a fight gets leaked that they don't want to get leaked, they announce it pretty quick afterwards. Cause like, it's a double bang. It's like, oh my gosh, that, that is, that might happen to it's totally happening. Oh my gosh, so exciting. You create a double effect. And I think that that's what Nintendo should be doing right now. They should have announced it already. Now, once again, that is if it's real, if it's not totally understandable, but I mean, I would definitely go ahead and announce this right now, but up to them, they can reveal the same looking Switch a few months later and people are still gonna buy it. So that's obviously Nintendo's choice, but I mean, to each their own. Nintendo does their thing, we do ours, we buy their consoles and we just, you know, have a great time. So, I mean, what do you, what do you want me to do? You know, they haven't announced it. They might not announce it. Imagine if the whole thing is fake. There is no Tears of the Kingdom Switch. That'd be pretty upsetting, but I do believe that there will be a Tears of the Kingdom Switch uh, eventually, whether it looks like this or not. I believe that they have to have that because it is such a huge game, but whether it looks like this or not, I do not know. Now, my other question is how does one get their hands on a Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED? Where was this person and how did they get it? How did they get that? Like, how would they have, the only thing that I can think of, the only thing is a Nintendo employee but you know that they'd get fired after this. And it that, that doesn't have, like, where, because I cannot tell where, where this person is that took the pictures. Where would they have, who who owns this? Who has this? Like, it's just, it's hard to believe almost. Like, I'm looking at the pictures, like the entire background. I cannot tell where the person is or like what that looks like. I feel like in this one picture, I can see two legs, but that might not even be two legs. Like. Who saw this? Where is that? And why do they have their their, their their own switch at the bottom? I don't even know, man. Like, where does one go to take pictures of this? Because I want to go. I want to see if it's real, you know? I don't know how they got their hands on it. Once again, my guess is Nintendo employee. But also, a Nintendo employee would not be playing Pokemon on the bottom, Uh, I, I, you know, while looking at a Tears of the Kingdom switch. So... 
Uh, it doesn't make much sense. It's really confusing. And uh, yeah, that is not confirmed to be the final version, but do not be shocked if that gets announced within the next few months. Now on the topic of Tears of the Kingdom, we have a little bit more news for you. So on a promotional poster showing Tears of the Kingdom, there is actually a Nintendo Switch Online logo on the poster. Now we do not know what this is going to mean. Will it mean that you can play multiplayer? Probably not. Does it mean cloud saves? That's probably all it means. But the fact that that logo is on there might mean that there could be some real cool online function. We have to wait and see, but keep in mind, that could just mean that the game can back up to save data cloud because you need online for that. It could mean as little as that, or it could mean as big as multiplayer, do this, hang with friends, you know, whatever the heck. That wouldn't be a Zelda game because it would feel weird if you're hanging out with other links, but some cool multiplayer function could happen, or as I mentioned, it could be a nothing burger. You can back up your game data and that's about it. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, one thing that is expected to return to these Zelda games are the use of amiibo. And we can tell this because one, Breath of the Wild had amiibo, you, you, can, you can use it to get food in the game or get a whole bunch of items depending on which amiibo you use. And also, a little bit of news for you, this French retailer has a pre-order listing of almost every Zelda amiibo showing that it's getting restocked. Nintendo seems to be restocking almost every single Zelda amiibo in the lead up to Tears of the Kingdom. Let me go through that entire list of who is being restocked. It's pretty much everybody. The Guardian, the Bokoblin, the Majora's Mask Link, the Ocarina of Time Link amiibo, the Twilight Princess Link amiibo, the Skyward Sword Link amiibo, the Wind Waker Link, the 8-Bit Link, the Wolf Link, the Rider Link, the Archer Link, the Toon Zelda, Zelda from Super Smash Bros, and Zelda from Breath of the Wild. So pretty much every single Zelda amiibo is getting restocked. Now, will it just be this French site or will it be like every store everywhere, Amazon, Best Buy, Target? I don't know. But they're at least getting a few more made and this French store has it here first. The store is called FNAC, and whether they're they're lying to us about them coming back, I don't know. We will have to believe it when we see it in more mainstream stores. But no matter what happens, that store is getting more Zelda Amiibo, and they're set to ship out February 3rd, 2023. So you can go ahead and pre-order them now. I'll leave a link in the description, but you probably can't because, I mean, I don't think I have any French listeners because it's a whole different language over there. So... I'll put it down there in case you can find a way to order it, but I mean, I wouldn't. I would wait until it comes to a store near you because they probably will. It makes sense to restock the Amiibo before the big release of a Zelda game. So, you know, that would make a whole lot of sense. But yeah, I would definitely hold off. And I mean, that's pretty big though because Nintendo doesn't restock Amiibo too often. And a lot of those Amiibo are pretty rare. Like the Skyward Sword Link, that is a very, very rare Amiibo. And for that to be restocked is... Pretty crazy stuff. Even like the 8-bit Link, Twilight Princess Link, a lot of these Amiibo are pretty rare and they're all coming back, it seems. And I'm excited. I'll probably buy the Skyward Sword Link because I love Skyward Sword, my favorite Zelda game. I mean, Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild are pretty close, but Skyward Sword is my favorite for sure. And so I will probably buy that one. But once again, we don't even know for sure if it's just this store that has some or if they're being restocked everywhere, but I could probably give you a 90% chance that they're being restocked. So be on the lookout and I'll come back on here and let you know if they are restocked, where to get them, how much they cost, which ones are restocked, all the info there. Mm -hmm.